Hi everyone, this is Eugene Lisho, and I'd like to talk to you today about Visual SFM. And for those of you that don't know, Visual SFM is an open source dense reconstruction program, and what you can do with it is take a number of photographs and create uh, 3D dense point clouds with it. And what's really nice is that it is visual. Uh, this is uh, nice because it sort of brings everything together in a graphical format, and uh, everything is in one place. So first things first, if you uh, want to experiment with this, you're going to need to go get it. First things first, if you want to get started with this, you need to go to this particular link and you'll need to download Visual SFM. So um, this is Visual SFM, the, uh, the home page, and this was developed by Chang Chang Wu at the uh, University of Washington. I was able to speak with uh, Chang Chang the other day and uh, he gave me some more uh, insight on uh, Visual SFM. Now, having said that, uh, I'm very new with the program, so I don't know everything there is to know. I know just a couple of things, but I think what's important is to get the word out there about this because it's it's kind of exciting and a nice little uh, in a nice little package. So, for those of you that want to experiment with it, uh, by all means, uh, please do so. So, once we've done that um, and we've downloaded the uh, software down here, we've got the Windows binary. A very important point down here. This is very important. You'll, you'll have to read through all the other documentation yourself. There is documentation for it, which is nice. However, um, the most important point here is that you need to also download PMVS or CMVS. So you, and you need to copy the binaries into the same folder as Visual SFM. Now, Visual SFM, when you download it as a zip file and extract it, it is just going to be a folder, and inside that folder is an executable file, Visual SFM. You don't have to install anything. You can just launch it directly. So PMVS and CMVS files, you need to actually place into the same folder. So I'm just going to put this over here. So this is my, uh, my Visual SFM folder, and I have Visual SFM down here, but there's PMVS. There's other files in here that I've actually uh, copied and pasted. Okay, so important point there. So as far as uh, getting started goes, I've got a, something, a dense reconstruction that's up here right now, or I'm going to develop this here from scratch so I can show you. Okay, so when you first start Visual SFM, um, you'll have a screen, something like this. You won't have all this data on the right here. This is something left over. Um, but the process is quite simple. So you need to open some images. So we've got some images here in this folder called Tire Tread. I'm just going to select them all and hit Open. And it goes through and does its thing here, loading image pixel data. Okay, there it is. And the next thing we're going to do is hit this little uh, icon up here, uh, right there. So the image matching, I'm going to click on that and you'll see it'll go through. It's uh, using the GPU right now. And this is an important point. If you have an NVIDIA or ATI card, the feature detection will use either of the two video cards to process these. So it's actually quite quick. You can see it going through. Okay, so it's actually done. But what I was just going to say was for the sparse reconstruction, which I'm going to do right here by pressing this button right there. You can see it's putting that together. Um, it only works right now with an NVIDIA card or it'll use your CPU. So um, ATI card won't work, but nonetheless, so you can see it's already done, uh, took 5.6 seconds, and I've got myself uh, some features here that are matched. Some things you can do, um, if you hold the control key down and use the mouse scroll wheel, you can control the size of the image planes. Uh, the other thing you can do is down here, if I press enter, um, I can change the point size. If you're a command line person, you'd like to use command lines, then this is where you would do it. So I'm just going to hit PSC and I'm going to change this to a point size of 1. Let's say hit enter. And you can see that it creates a very small point right here. There's some very small points. I'm going to put that back actually. I'll hit enter again and go PSC 3 and there you go. Back to there. I'm going to move this, make this a little bit bigger here. And now that I've done the uh, the 3D reconstruction, the sparse, I want to do the dense reconstruction. So I'm just going to click on CMVS here. And one of the things that we need to do is create a folder where it will place the models that it creates. So I'm just going to call this TT for tire tread and hit save. Okay, and then uh, I'll put this back in here so you can see what it's doing. Okay, here it says that it's undistorting, undistorting some images. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Uh, uh, let this run until it's complete and uh, I'll, I'll fire this back up when it's done. Okay, so the program took about just over 10 minutes to process and the dense reconstruction is complete. Now it actually doesn't show up because I am in the sparse reconstruction view. So if I want to switch over, I just need to hit the tab key and you can see here that I've got a 
uh, a nice reconstruction. So that's basically the process of how it's going to work. For those of you that like a little bit more control, just down here in the command line, hit enter and just type set. And what that will bring up is a, an any file that uh, will have a whole number of parameters that you can change and, and modify. So you can try some different things with your with your reconstructions. Now, another thing to note is once we did the uh, CMBS and we put in a, uh, a name for the folder, let me just bring it up here. Uh, what we have now is this folder right here, TT, NVM is what I used. Uh, there's another folder, 00. If you go into the models folder here, you'll see that I have a PLY file. And this is actually uh, for MeshLab, and I happen to have it available here in MeshLab already. I've imported the point cloud, and you can see that it looks quite nice. So from you know using MeshLab, you can do some different things with it. You can clean up the point cloud. You can create a mesh surface. So um, that's, the, uh, that's the basic process of uh, Visual SFM. There is m more to it uh, for sure, but I think for uh, uh, an introductory video, hopefully this is okay and this will get you going. And have fun with it. Thanks.